Hello everyone. Today I want to share this model is a composite panel and we are create a linear barcode analysis. For this part, because it is a composite layout, we need to create it carefully. So first it is a ex extruded from a arc length and the radius is 15 and the length of the arc is 14 after uh, extrude, extrude it for 14 then we get this panel so um, this coordinate system is used for the layout it's a cylindric coordinate system we can create it here and now I'll show you Then we need to input the direction of the radio axis at about in the y negative y direction. So it's zero, negative one, zero. And then we need to get the t direction. It's in the x direction. So it's one, zero, zero. Then we get the, uh, the same uh, direction and origin of the cylindric coordinate system as we created before. So here we just delete delete this one. Uh, after we get this panel, we need to create a hole in this uh, at its center so how did we create it because we have created this panel and the this template so we can create a extrude cut at this plane and Create a circle at the center. The radius is one. After create, we get the cut through at the panel. So it get this circle. Circle hole. Then we need to participate with the diagonal edges so we create we first create, uh, break this circle for four parts so we can create Or maybe this is not the location we want it. We want. We can see here. First, we need to uh, delete this extrude. So. Here is the partition of this panel. We can create the points on the circle edge by
this one. This is about two points and um, zero point two five, and here is a zero point seven five of this half four eight. Uh, when we get this with this point, we can partition this panel into four blocks, and here we just connect the two points as we can see after we partition it we can end the property module in this module we need to create a laminar property Material. The laminar, pro laminar material property is uh, consists of five material parameters. The Young's yes, modular in the two directions and the partial ratio and three and um, shear modulus. Then we create the composite layout, and when we create it, uh, we need to input the initial play count. Here we use the conventional shear, and it consists of 16 plays. Here we input 8 because it's symmetric. So if we suppress this and create a new one, here we can choose the direction, the orientation of the five, we choose the coordinate system, and select the cylindrical coordinate system we have created. Here we have the eight plus, and this region we choose this panel and the material we choose the lamina. The thickness of every ply is about 0, 0, 0, 6. and here is the direction of every ply. Here we need to uh, the normal direction is x direction, so it's in the axis one. We need to pay attention to it. This direction we need to get it correct. And the this reference direction is uh, is in the y direction, and here we need to input the angle of the fiber direction. If we get forty five degrees, and then the one direction is about forty five degrees around the reference direction and here we input minus next to put five and here we input 19 so just we can see the every ply the direction of every ply is different if we have Input the different angles. Then uh, we just have eight plus here. 
algebra. So we need to take this one and make the calculated sections the matrix. So then we can have uh, 16 plus for the panel. So you can see this. And this is the rotational angle. And then we can check it for the plus, for the number of plus, we click the plus stack plot and pick one of the panel. So here we can see there is 16 plus and the direction is as we input the angle, as angles we input it. Negative 45, 45, negative 45, 19, 0, 19, 0. So this is the fiber direction. Here we have assigned the um, layup of the composite. Then we need, we can go into the assembly module and create instance and then create a step and I can suppress it and create a new one here we choose linear probation and pick barcode here we need to input the number of ink values requested it's 5 and here we just need a 10 or 15 this doesn't matter so I click OK and then we just create the step and the output we can keep it default so in the into action we need to create some set for use for when we set the boundary condition and the interactions. So here is the set we have created the edge, node edge, and fixed edge. This point is uh, the load load point we create equation constraints in the interaction module and this one is really don't need it so after created this, this set we go into the load module here we first create the boundary condition it, it has three boundary conditions the fixed of the bottom edge and oh, I just forget the equation constraints here we needed to create constraints and the big equation here is the coefficient the set name and the direction and here is minus here is point load. So in the same direction. Through this constraint, we can keep the load point has the same displacement as this for edge. After this, we uh, and create the boundary condition. It has three boundary conditions, as we just see. And these two edges are symmetric, so we need to create need to constrain the U1 and U2. Yeah. Actually, it 
Rip her again, she's the, <coughs> the um, radiant direction and the T direction. Then we need to give it a concentrated force as the load. And this load we just uh, apply it at the point. This one. As we just created the equation constraint between this point and this edge. And the force is 1000 Newton in the Z and negative Z direction. Then we can create the mesh. And the X type is S4R. Then we can create the job and complete it. Submit it. And it is solved quickly. We can see the result. Plus, we have extra extracted five buckle mod. So we start from the step back. Best step. Then this is the uh, first bug mode, and the angle value is 25. So for the bug load, it's 25 kilonewtons. It means when we um, apply. 25 kilonewton in the negative Z direction and this panel where where buckle at the whole edge so this is the first buck mode and the second one the third mode force and the face We can see the animation. And for the first buckle mod in this tutorial we have showed how to create this panel and how to create the layout of composite. And then we create a linear buckle analysis and get the buckle load of this panel. So here is the uh, all content of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and let's learn together.